Do modern serpentine belts stretch? Well, we're gonna find out why they don't next. This video is sponsored by Continental, the future in motion. Visit our website for more information. The modern serpentine drive belt is not a homogeneous structure. There are different layers and different materials that work together to drive the different pulleys on the drive belt system. One of the first layers is the backing on the belt. This actually comes in contact with pulleys and tensioners and it wears a little bit on its own and it's a very wear resistant material. The next layer is a layer of steel cords or engineered fabric. This material, well, it has flexibility, but it can only go so far. If the belt is bent too much in one direction, it can damage the fibers inside. If it's bent in the other direction and crushed or damaged by, let's say, a screwdriver, this can damage those fibers and cause them to break and cause the belt to fail eventually. The part that you could see the most, the area that has the grooves in it. This can be made from a variety of elastomeric materials and it's designed to wear over time. As the grooves wear, it changes the geometry of the grooves on the belt. When this happens, how the belt rides and the grooves on the pulley, let's say for an alternator or a power steering pump changes. Once they work to a point where the grooves start to bottom out, well, this is where you get slippage and typically noise from the belt system. So all of these layers work together to provide a structure for the belt that doesn't stretch like old V belts used to. In other words, these belts over time wear the inner layer so they can give the right amount of traction or friction on the pulleys to power the components on the drive belt system. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much. <laughs>